Alaska about Operation Kindness. Hello and good morning. I'm Brendan Higgins. Thanks for joining us. Located in Carrollton, Texas, Operation Kindness is the oldest and largest no-kill animal shelter in North Texas and since its inception in 1976 has saved more than 75,000 animals. Staff cares for an average of 300 dogs and cats every day with an additional 100 animals living in foster home. Last year, over 3,700 animals were adopted. I'd like to welcome to the show CEO of Operation Kindness, Jim Hanafy, and his dog, Annika. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks. Glad to be here. Well, Operation Kindness um, is located in Carrollton, as we said. Tell us about the shelter. Well, as you mentioned, we've, we've been in existence for 37 years. We've been at our present site now for 15 years, uh, and we care for roughly 300 animals on site. Um, being a no-kill shelter essentially means that uh, we will provide uh, medical care to, to animals for any condition if there's an opportunity for quality of life. The uh, only time we'd euthanize an animal is if it was, uh, death was imminent and it was uh, suffering. Uh, so that's one of the things that separates us is that we have a full medical facility there and we, we provide care for our animals. And that's what makes you so special. It is a no-kill facility. How, and that's, you know, a hard thing to manage. How, how are you able to do that? Well, I, the main thing is that we're, we're able to uh, bring in animals as, as we have space available. I think sometimes people will, will uh, question municipal shelters, city-owned shelters, and, and the truth of the matter is, is that they, they have to take every animal that comes to them. So our pledge is, is to partner with uh, other shelters to help them uh, not euthanize a healthy animal for space and to take as many animals as we can and find them homes. And Annika here is uh, one of Operation Kindness's success stories because she had a fractured pelvis and tailbone when she was brought in. Can you tell us the story about how you ended up with Annika? Well, I, um, I'd only been working there a short time and I, I heard about this really cute white dog and I peeked my head in our medical facility and saw this beautiful white face looking out at me. So I started taking her for walks and letting mm -hmm. her hang out in my office and uh, pretty soon staff were feeding her in my office. and. Uh, People were saying, you know, that I was, oh, you know, you're a goner, and I was, nah, I'm just here to help her out. And one night I was home, and uh, she was available for adoption, and I was talking to my wife, and I was saying, you know, I hope staff thinks this and remembers this, and my wife is like, let's just go get her. And we did. <laughs> <laughs> so, She'd given up. Yeah. She knew. Yeah. But well, we got tile floors, so she had a method for her madness. <laughs> well, how many animals do you have uh, for adoption at Operation Kindness right now? Um, well, there's probably uh, close to 50 in, in medical care, and uh, so I'm guessing we probably have anywhere from 200, 250 to 300 animals ready to go. Uh, we brought some great dogs here today. And where are most of the animals coming from? Are they coming from other shelters, or are people bringing them directly to you? About half the animals come to us from other shelters, uh, either because they have a medical condition that needs, and they need assistance, or there's an issue with overcrowding. 25% are owner surrenders, uh, and one of our goals is to reduce the number of owner surrenders by providing some resources to people who don't want to surrender but have to. And then another 25% are strays that are found, and uh, we check them for microchips and then return them. Which brings up the point of spay and neutering. Uh, how absolutely. important is that right now? You know, it, it is absolutely essential, especially for, for larger cities, Dallas, Fort Worth, that uh, uh, low-cost neutering is available, and it is, is really important that, that folks get their animals spay and neutered because, uh, you know, there, one spay and neuter of a kitten could, could eventually prevent uh, over, over 10,000 cats. Well, we are going to be talking a lot more about uh, what you got going on at Operation Kindness a bit later in the show. Thanks for being here with us today with Annika. Annika? Do you go Annika or Annika? Either one. Okay. Annika. Right. Either. Annika. It's usually hey you. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, time for a quick break, but uh, don't go anywhere because we have the sweetest dogs here that are looking for a home to call their own, and you can meet them after the break. Plus. Looking for some quality time with your dog later today? Check out Dog Day Afternoon. We have the doggy details coming up.